you're with us tonight, and thank Nancy for coming down uh, for helping us get a quorum so we can move forward with some business. Uh, tonight's uh, meeting will be uh, short. We uh, are going to have an invocation. The invocation is done for the benefit of the council. If you don't want to participate in the invocation, it's fine. It will have no effect on the reason you came here tonight. With that, I'll ask everybody to stand. And Julie, if you'll just set the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. If you remain standing. Our Father, we're grateful tonight that you've allowed us to come here to conduct the business of this city. Lord, we're thankful that these men and women will come down and work on their own time to help us and to get things going. We ask that you be with all the Bicentennial, be especially with our Council Lady Nancy tonight, Lord. Uh, we know her back's bothering her, and Lord, we ask that you be with her, and we do thank her for coming down. Lord, we ask all these things in your name. Amen. Amen. First order of business will be roll call. Councilman Rich. Present. Councilman Weber. Councilman Schommel. Present. Councilman Nobby. Present. Councilwoman Montgomery. Councilman Creech. Councilwoman Stevens. Here. Let the record show that four council people are present. We have a quorum and we can do business. <laughs> if you'll turn your cell phones off, please, or turn them to the library place. First order of business will be reading of the minutes. Move to accept the minutes as presented. Second. Got a motion on the floor to accept the minutes as they were sent. Are there any additions or corrections? None appearing. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Under new business, we uh, have a resolution for a public hearing for tax abatement for more precision. More Precision has purchased a $50,000 machine. The uh, abatement committee has met and we're recommending a three-year abatement. Uh, if there's any question, I have Mr. Moore here in the room. Any questions at all? I'm going to open this up for a public hearing. Is there anybody out here that would like to talk about the abatement on More Precision for $50,000 and a new piece of equipment? Not appearing, I will Close the public hearing and uh, council. I'll take a motion. I move to accept the resolution 2013 16. Second. I have a motion and a second to accept resolution 2013 16 for more precision to get a 50, 000, or a three year abatement on the $50,000 machine center that they have, are in the process of purchasing. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried, and that's a resolution, so that's a done deal. We have three resolutions accepting money back into the city coffers, 240 from telephone, from uh, police, uh, 198 in building materials returned uh, from park, and park damage to a truck, $1,246.40 into vehicle repair. I'd like to take all three resolutions, if you'll allow me. So moved. Second. Got a motion and a second to accept resolution 2013-17, 18, and 19, all receiving money back in from different areas. Any discussion? Thank you, Mr. Moore. Thank you. Thank you. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Motion carried. We have pending ordinance 30-23, additional appropriation, uh, public hearing to purchase the police cars that we found out in Iowa. I will open a public hearing. Public hearing, we're asking for 15500 because there was some money in the fund that we had appropriated earlier for a lie detector machine, so we only need fifteen five to finish that sale. Is there anybody out there that... Is there anybody out there have any discussion about the cars? None appearing. I'll close the public hearing. I'll throw it open to the council. What's your... I move to accept any ordinance 30, 23. Okay, we have a motion. We have a second. Second. Got a motion and a second to accept pending ordinance 3023, uh, appropriating 15,500 from the general fund for the three new police cars. Any discussion? 
All in favor say aye. 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 Would you like to suspend the rules and move forward? So moved. Second. Got a motion on the floor to suspend the rules so we can consider pending ordinance 20, 3023, $15,000 for new police cars. On suspension of rules only, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, we can have a third reading if you'd like. So moved. Second. Got a motion and a second to uh, pass pending ordinance 3023, allowing $15,500 out of the general fund <coughs> to pay for the police cars that we are in the process of purchasing from Iowa. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. Pending ordinance 3024, this additional appropriation hearing on building materials and supplies for $10,000 for industrial park restrooms and scores building. Uh, we're in the process. Started building yesterday. Yes, we're digging the foundation. Uh, we're short about $10,000 to get our part done. We hope to finish it with our own people. Um, public hearing. Anybody out there have any discussion on the restrooms over at Industrial Park? None appearing. I'll close the public hearing. Council? Oh, we received some money for insurance. We, we, we got 13400 Yeah, 13, That was just about enough to build the shell of the building and pour the floor. Yes, yes. Okay. This will finish the inside with our own people, we hope. You have an end date, Mike, when it may be completed? Hopefully in three to four weeks. Good. As soon as possible is what we're trying, because we have no restrooms over there now. So this will cover it? We hope. It's a shot in the dark, because we're doing it ourselves. <clears throat> um, we pass pending ordinance 3024. A second. For a motion and a second to pass pending ordinance 3024 on first reading allowing $10,000 from uh, general fund for the restrooms over at the industrial park. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. Would you like to suspend the rules? So moved. Second. Got a motion and a second that we suspend the rules and consider it pending ordinance 3024, bring $10,000 to do the restrooms and scores building at the industrial park. On suspension rules only, all in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. If you'd like to move forward, we can. So moved. Second. On pending ordinance 3024, an additional appropriation from the general fund for $10,000 to put the <coughs> scores building and the restrooms in Industrial Park. Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. We have a like ordinance pending ordinance. Uh, 3025, this is an ordinance that would put a handicap station parking place in front of 1323 East 5th. It's been recommended by the Board of Works and we have the doctor's documents to go with it. I make a motion that we approve pending ordinance 3025. Second. <laughs> we have a motion to accept that ordinance 3025. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Would you like to suspend the rules? So moved. Second. Okay. We have a motion to suspend the rules to consider pending ordinance 3025 on third and final reading. On suspension rules only, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. We can go on to third reading if you like. So moved. <clears throat> okay, we got a motion and a second to consider pending ordinance 3025 on third and final reading. Uh, putting a handicapped parking place in front of 1325. East 5th Street. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Troy Tipton is here and Troy's got some, he needs six sets of uh, clothing for the fire department. Did you bring your show and tell this time? Yeah, but I was going to just ask, since Nancy's in pain, do you want me to go into it? Why don't we uh, advertise for additional appropriation? Nancy, you brought the clothes with him. Do you want to take time to look at them? I can bring them. That won't take that They're, long. We'll go, go ahead and show them. Okay. Ahead. She's nice enough to come here. They're up, that's for sure. I, I can bring them next time, Nancy, if you would like. No, that's fine. What we're dealing with, Nancy, is everything um, goes out on 10 year periods on our gear. This is a helmet that, been, that was replaced last year. Here's a pair of pants. Show everybody because Connie hasn't seen either. Uh, Fran has, but the gate has. Um, here's a pair of pants that goes out next year, and like you can see, we're getting kind of tattered. <laughs> we kind of have to patch, we didn't catch. But um, the new coats 
the new standard on the coats, um, when you pull the vapor barrier away from the thermal barrier, has a sling. In case somebody goes down, you can actually pull them out of the fire. But um, gear um, has a lifespan of 10 years for the standards. And that's six sets that's out, plus the one set for the new hiring on the part-time. So we was looking at needing right at 11,000. It was 11,500, but we have some in there. Well, we're asking for 11. Yep. <coughs> I'd point out that is a, a state law that is yeah. in place every day. Yeah, federal. Um, it's a standard and a federal um, OSHA standard. And uh, we inspect them every quarter. And this, um, we cut the price down as much as we can. We've shopped around and got it down as low as we can. We went from about 1850 to right at 1700 a little bit less. As I told Board of Works today, normally you would have this money in the budget and you would just purchase this every year or two. You would just buy it. But we haven't put any money in the budget for purchasing anything for many, many years because we watch everything we purchase and run it through the council. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'd like for you to uh, give us permission to advertise for a public hearing for that $11,000. So moved. Second. Got a motion and a second that uh, we advertise for a public hearing at the next meeting for $11,000 to buy fire gear. Six sets. Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Thank you, Troy. Thanks, Troy. On uh, public forum, I would like to say that on June 11th, the Chinese delegation, both five government officials and two businessmen will be here in the daytime. We will have to have a special city council meeting that morning. I hope I can get a quorum because they are going to sign a sister city agreement with us. Uh, that's very important in moving forward to building a relationship with the Chinese companies and people, which many of them are wanting to come here and produce. Franklin's got a Chinese company. Uh, all the uh, Shelbyville's got them. And we're trying to develop a Asian park so that we can have some of these Chinese companies come over here rather than produce the product over there. They want to come here and produce it. So that's just for information. I have a, a still holding the pending ordinance on fuel uh, for $9,400. And we're still at a standstill, right, Troy? Yes. Okay, the state has been here and inspected the building. Yeah. Um, the state uh, came last Tuesday, and they're still um, dealing with the group, fuel group. And and they have asked them to refile because some mistakes was made in the application. So you're asking us to hold this for <coughs> a So, Troy, do they say whether or not they're going to have to do the whole thing, the whole building, or just, I know before they were talking about just redoing the bottom floor? I probably wouldn't want to discuss that since they haven't told them. The state's told me what they expect. But, but you've met with the state and yeah. you've met with you. Okay. Yeah. And they know what to expect? Yeah, and the state's in, in the process of informing them what they what they want to do. Um, it's going to, the cost I'm sure is going to be where we're at with that building, whether they afford to do it or not. So you're suggesting we table that again? Yeah, they should resolve itself by then, okay. by the next meeting. I'm I need a motion to table then, that's all moved. Second. Got a motion and a second to table the pending ordinance 3012 and 9,400 fuel. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay. okay, under the mayor's report, I want to report that the building dedication at Roberts Park will be at 6.30 p.m. on the 14th. 14th of June, Flag Day. There will be an open house from 5 to 7. There will be hot dogs, chips, and cold drinks served, so you don't have to miss dinner to come up there. It's a Friday night. I really would like for the members of the city council to be there and be proud of what you've accomplished, because without the council, it wouldn't have got done. Again, it's just information. Uh, do you have anything, Nancy, you want to bring up? No. Mm -hmm. Gabe? Good. Fran? No, thanks. Connie? Um, no, I just wanted to take, uh, say congratulations to the class of 2013. Oh, that's a great thing. Yeah. 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 And they did have a bicentennial medal around their neck. Yeah. They, they did. Right. That was very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, I do have a little problem over here, and I wanted to get the council's opinion. Um. <coughs> I got my own. <laughs> if, if 
if you can, if the council can see this, this is Willie Wells store. This is the uh, First Merchants Bank. And they have put some new drive-throughs here. And you actually drive through like this and come out here. And they got two lanes. When they went to get their building permit, for some reason they thought they got the use of this alley that goes from central over to eastern. They thought they they could just make this one way. They never came to the Board of Works. They never came to the Council. So the We've had complaints. Cars have almost got hit because everybody's pulling in here whichever way they want and going to the bank. These cars pulling out can't get out because it's blocked and we have a problem. We also have a problem because there's a big church here and they have parking right here. They like to back out and come right out here. They don't want this alley made one way. So I talked to the contractor, I talked to the engineer, and I was on the phone with them right up until a half hour before I got here tonight. The easiest way to settle this would be, if the building code allows us, for them to put an island in here, maybe two, three foot wide, paint it yellow, and make their own entrance into the bank, and come in here and go through their drive up. I suggested that to him. He said he didn't think he had to do that, because Bill McDaniel had given him permission to do this. And we all know that can't be done. This has to be only done by the city council. You're the only ones that can make an alley one way or close an alley. So, uh, we need to get this fixed up. I had the chief go up tonight and take signs down. They have one-way signs and an arrow painted on the street. And we'll cover the arrow in the morning, won't we, Mr. Joe? Yes. Yeah. And they'll just have to fight it out until we can get a resolution here. Does the church have another access to their parking lot besides that alley? They have parking over here, and they can come down the alley, get here, and come this way. They can actually come out here by Willie's or they can go to Eastern. But as you know, when people leave the church, they kind of like to follow this. When they back out, they want it. They also like to come in here. And they don't want it made. I mean, the chief has talked with them and I've talked with them. They don't want it one way. Mayor, I'll tell you, there's enough room there. And they have enough room over there on their lot. They can make that a two-way alley. They could widen that alley. Yeah. Well, that would take permission of the council, too, because they'll be sharing. Yeah. They could, they could, they could probably make a two-way alley there, paid and everything else. Uh, I think they have enough room on their area. The thing I'm worried about that, if you make a big wide entrance there, mm -hmm. you'd have to really designate going in and out, mm -hmm. which we could do, I, I suppose. i got to talk to McDaniel and see if that's against the code to have a driveway and an alley right next to each other. I don't know if it's against the uh, code or whether we have the authority to do it. But it's a problem that we've encountered and uh, we need to fix it. Any other suggestions? All right. We'll uh, probably let Mr. Baker send a letter to the engineer telling them that they're not to make this one way until they get permission of the Board of Works and the City Council. I'd like to talk to Bill McDaniel first yeah, I want and you see to talk to him and exactly see what, what he, he has done and what he has to say about it. But I, I really doubt that he would have. Give them permission to close or change he the city alley. said the state approved the site plan, and the area planning approved the site plan, and this was in the site plan. Yeah, I bet they thought it was an entrance, not an alley. You yeah. know, they're well, all. I, I checked that out. It is an alley. Mm -hmm. it runs well, no, I mean, I thought they they were probably thinking it was a, a that on the diagram was in fact. See what I'm talking about. Press. No, no decision we can make tonight is just something that we have to fix. <laughs> trying to bring you some sort of resolution. The clerk treasurer's reports in your packet if you have any questions. How much, How much is actually in the riverboat? Yeah. Yeah. We should be getting our riverboat payment in August probably. Yeah. Uh, we have almost 19,000 in the program. And how much is in there? 70. 70, 70. About 50,000. Available. Thank you, everybody else. Any other questions? Anybody? Okay. Madam Fearing, uh, I would like to. Uh,
That's for an adjournment. Make so a move. motion. I have a motion. We have a second. Yes. Motion and a second to adjourn. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried.